years ago, our company, Stjorn, um, discovered a magnetic anomaly. Um, we did this during the course of developing another technology. And the anomaly is very simple. The anomaly is that we could gain energy from magnets with no apparent source. Um, six years on, what we're doing is we're launching that technology. Um, we're launching it with public demonstrations. Uh, people can come and see the technology. Um, they can watch it um, stream from our website, stjorn.com. We're an Irish company. We're a Dublin company. We're here in the Waterway Centre, in the city centre of Dublin, and we're delighted to launch our technology from here. Orbo is an over-unity technology. And an over-unity technology is, is simple. Um, the concept is simple, that you can put a certain amount of energy into a device and take more energy out of it. Um, it defies one of the most basic scientific principles. Basically, Orbo consists of two components. Uh, the first component is a motor. And uh, this looks like a very traditional pulse motor where we have an energy reservoir, in this case it's a battery, um, that's feeding electrical energy into the coils. Uh, we have a reed switch, which is um, in here, and that determines when the coils are fired. And so the system operates very much like a normal motor. What is unique about this versus any other motor is that the amount of electrical energy that we're drawing from the reservoir is substantially less than the work done by the rotor. Um, in this case, it's probably a two to one ratio. Um, so for every joule of energy that we draw from the battery, we're getting two joules of work done by the rotor. So what we showed earlier was um, an Orbo-based electric motor, where we're taking some energy from the battery and the rotor is doing more work than the electrical energy we're putting in. That was about a two to one ratio. Um, what we've added to the system now is effectively a generator. It's a sequence of pickup coils, and those pickup coils take some of the kinetic energy of the rotor and convert it into electrical energy. This is fed back into the battery with a very simple current rectification circuit. Um, the rectification circuit is a simple diode, half-wave rectification, and this recharges the battery. If you were to look at the system from an overall thermodynamic standpoint, um, not only are we producing work done by the rotor and electrical energy out, Virtually all of the electrical energy that's input into the system is actually dissipated as heat, which is also an output uh, via a process called dual heating. So all the coils are actually generating heat. So the overall thermodynamic efficiency of a system like this will probably be in a three to one ratio. What we're offering is not just some new cool technology. It is a real opportunity for us as a species and us as a society to change everything.